Okay, folks, here's the plan. So I have a, a Thermodyne 24 volt PMA uh, that was sent to us to test, and we had a Missouri Wind and Solar uh, 24 volt dual Renegade PMA that's been up on our 20 foot tower, not a high tower, but it's been on a 20 foot tower. Uh, we found out this week that um, we have a 4896 volt PMA, and apparently that's not supposed to be uh, what we're using. Uh, so I've pulled that PMA down. While I had both uh, both of the devices down, I said, you know what, let's do some testing. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to see cogging. Uh, so cogging, as it's defined, as I understand it, uh, is that uh, resistance of the magnets uh, that keeps the uh, shaft from turning. Um, so you have to have higher winds to be able to overcome more cogging. So the more magnets you put in there, the more cogging you get. Um, so I wanted to test that because we hear that word all the time and we hear uh, people talk about it, about how this PMA has more cogging or higher cogging than the other. So this is what I want to do. Well, I've, while I've got them both, we're going to take and we're going to, we've got our, our stand, you guys have all seen our, our little cart. We're going to take the PMA and we're going to strap it down like so, exposing the shaft out to the front. Uh, we're going to put the nut on. And then we're going to take a piece of wood, um, and it's going to be an exact piece. Uh, we have two. Um, then we're going to take that, we're going to bolt it on to the PMA. We're going to find that cogging point when it turns, like so. And when it finds that point, then we're going to hold it there. Now down here on the end of this piece of wood, it's got a cutout on it. And we're going to start adding weights down here on the end. And that's going to put forward or downward pressure uh, and we're going to see what the weight difference is. That's the only way I know to measure the cogging. Uh, I thought about using a uh, uh, some sort of a meter, um, but I, I just couldn't think of a good way. So I, I think this is going to be the best way I know to do it. it. It may not be exactly accurate in foot pounds, but we're going to be able to tell a difference in weight. Um, so I think that's huge. So that's the plan. I'm going to strap them down. Uh, one at a time, I'm going to put this piece on here and then we'll start adding weight on the end and uh, we'll see uh, which system has the most cogging, which is going to have a direct impact on uh, our startup speeds and uh, I believe it's also going to have uh, uh, an impact on the ability for a PMA to remain running or in operation during low, low wind speeds, right? So if you have this constant cogging or this constant resistance that's there, uh, you're going to have to have a lot higher wind. So let me get started on this. Now you know what the overall plan is for this test, hopefully, and uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go for it. Okay, so we've done the whiteboard. Now what I want to do is show you guys how much these each one of these sticks weigh. So I'm showing that weighs, uh, what, 5.2, it be ounces. So I'm going to pull this one off, and we're going to put this other one up here, and it's 5.2 as well. So we know they both weigh the same. They both are identical in size and in weight. I'll put them on top of each other. You can see. So there's no difference in the two. None. The holes go straight through on both. They're completely identical the same. So what we're gonna do is we're now gonna take the PMA and we're going to strap them down just like this one. This is the Missouri Wind and Solar Dual Renegade PMA. We strapped it down so that you can see here there's a gap, so there's no way that it's gonna hit. Let me get that out of the way, there's a little bolt. There we go. So now there's no way they're gonna hit. We decided to use the um, the hub from uh, Thermodyne simply because it's fresh, clean paint. There's no weight to it, uh, but we're going to use the same hub for both tests, so it'll be consistent across the board. And so let me get this thing set up, and then we'll come back to the camera. 